Now, you might get a message that says, oh, my God, this is going live on YouTube because we're live on YouTube now and you can uh, pretty soon it'll be the most watched yoga channel on YouTube. Now, that's a grandiose vision. Maybe it'll move up to like one. But anyway, don't worry about that little message. You're going to have to push accept and None of your personal information or images goes online. You could trust me on that. Great to see you. Inhale up. And exhale out. Good. Now I've decided to do a little bit of standing and a little bit of sitting and a little bit of laying around. Our new strategy is to go for about 65 minutes because I've got a short attention span. And I think we can do what we need to do in that period of time. And the longer I'm alive, the more I learn brevity is the soul of wit. So let's do one chant of Om together. Sure is great to see you all. Happy New Year. Oh. Feel that? Now, before we're outstanding in our field, I do want to remind that this is the yoga class for everybody, normal humans, people that can't do everything, people that might have a hitch in their get along, people that uh, aren't necessarily circus performers. There's plenty of YouTube for that. There's plenty of those classes. This is for the people that just want to get in, mix it up, get a little healthier, progress, not perfection have a little fun, laugh at ourselves, laugh at me. And with that disclaimer issued, let's have an uprising. Stand up. And forward fold onto blocks, relax your head. Now this doesn't mean I'm not gonna push you or we're not gonna work. It just means we're gonna try to find the middle ground of sensation. Relax your hair, drain your brain, bend your knees. I think I let everybody know on Monday that I've got a meniscus thing in one of my knees. So man, I've got to do a big old workaround and fake it so I don't break it. And that's okay. It's like, this is where the elite meet for people who have trouble standing on their feet sometimes. So. We're all going to heaven, even if you can't do the splits, exhale all the air out and come on up kids. Up you go, it's a paradox. We're gonna have to do uh, effortless effort and place your hands south of the border, feet together. Inhale up, turn your hands over at your throat, press up and lean left. And inhale. Have you done any movement today? Have you been stuck in your chair? Inhale. Well, at least you're here now. Release out. Good job. And step out as wide as your hips. Drop your chin. Take your head around. One. Two. Three. Lose your mind, quit being logical, stop making sense. It doesn't work anyway. You're never gonna figure it all out. Other way, one, I've never met a sponge in the ocean that could get the whole ocean inside of itself. I've met some humble sponges that could get a little more every day. Five, those narcissistic sponges are a pain in the butt. Seven, Relax your head down. Good, and then shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for about a year and a half, I was practicing the great spiritual art of denial about my knee. I just figured I'd put it off and not think about it because that's my that's how I roll. But finally, it just said, hey, hey, you up there, do something. So I um, went to see a doctor. Could you imagine? 
Okay, now take your feet out a little wider, bend your knees, swing your arms. You know, putting stuff off and denying it is not a bad strategy for as long as you can possibly do it. I think that's the way most humans operate. But then the pain of avoidance becomes greater than the pain of taking care of it. And then you do it. Pain is the touchstone of all spiritual growth. Have you ever heard that dismal saying? Three, two, who the hell invented that principle? One, maybe it's the touchstone until we learn to do it otherwise. Do the wave with me, down and roll up. Down and roll up, floppy arms, peaceful countenance, wavy gravy. Now, if you've been to my new YouTube site, it has all the classes recorded. Unfortunately, the thumbnails are pretty, pretty terrible looking, but somebody in this very class is working on brand new thumbnails that are going to make my site especially aesthetic and attractive. And one, and inhale up. That person shall go nameless. Her name is Kristen. Take your hands behind your back. Feet out about this wide. And come on down. Head and butt on the floor. Go a little left and right. Get your happy on. If you're wearing a hood, let it fall over your head. Lower, lower, lower. And go lower, left and right with your arms. Do what you can. If you do the possible, Shiva will always do the impossible. Come on up. Inhale. Thank God God has so many names so you can offend as few people as possible. And up your back. And we poof together. Poof. By the way, if you're watching this recorded on YouTube, just talking to you for a sec, you millions of new friends, you found your new teacher, the guy who can come up with an option for everybody, mild, medium, or spicy, and can scarcely do any of it himself. But he talks a good game. One more. And poof. All right, this is where the elite meet to open up their feet. So left foot forward onto your right toenail, swirl it around, two, three, four, about 15 minutes of joint juice and then some stuff on the floor. That sounds good. Other way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sufficient, right foot forward, left toenails. Rub the toenail polish all around. Four, five, six, eight, other way. Wow, look at all the people in class. Do you remember January back at the Yoga Fusion studio? It was like standing pose room only till about mid-February. Six, seven, eight. That's when yoga studios made all their money in January. So you ran the big sales because nothing sells better than spirituality. Inhale up, feet together, and lace your hands. Push your palms up, up onto your tippy toes. And one, two, three. Why is it that some of the most humble and salt of the earth people have no financial motive and some of the most spiritual people seem to <laughs> go for the cash? It's a weird paradox, isn't it? Okay, stand up on your tippy toes, stretch way up. Close your eyes, balance on your tippies. Drop your heels, knuckles on your head, lean left again. Now stretch your arms out if you want more. And knuckles back on your head, inhale up. And knuckle headed to the right, extend arms if you want more. And up you go. Now a forward fold with our feet together a little stronger. I like my blocks, always have. Our new breathing strategy, bend your knees, look forward, soften. Exhale, deepen, push the air out. One, two, hold your breath out. Three, 
Good, bend your knees, soften, look forward. Exhale and work it, straighten your legs to the degree that you can. Everybody isn't perfectly forward folding. Half the people are better than you, half the people aren't. Inhale, come up. Isn't it sort of a refreshing thought that there's infinity in front of us and infinity behind us? So no rush, we're never done. Exhale all the air out. Good, roll out the wrists. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven. Flop your hands. You know what my new, one of my New Year's resolutions is this year? To ask people for help. So I've been doing it in a variety of ways. Faster, faster. Cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin. Now inside your own head with your eyes closed and being con contemplative, what sort of help do you need to ask for? And are you asking for it? It's just an inquiry. I'm not forcing any theology upon you, but is there something is there somewhere in your life that you could be asking for help and you would get it, but you just haven't asked for it yet? Just an inquiry from your friendly yoga teacher. Good yogis, relax your hands down, inhale, come up. So what I need help with is a good guitar teacher. So if you know a good music or a guitar teacher that could help me out, please let me know. I'm a beginner. Hands on your hips, heels in, heels out, toes in. Swirl your hips. Now, I don't need help swirling my hips. I'm an expert at it, but I need help on the guitar, maybe the piano. So if you know somebody. Now, when you ask for help, the first person you ask may not have the answer, but just by asking the question, the answer comes usually in some way that's uh, really weird, out of left field, and it's so delightful. Because I've read once that when you seek, you find. When you ask, it is given. But if you don't ask, you don't get eight. Good. Can you tell I've had a lot of coffee today? It's fasting day, so all I get is coffee. Inhale up. And hands above your knees. And knee loops down and to the right. Mine are going to be kind of small. Yours can be deep and sweepy and adventuresome and bold and daring and butt scraping eight other way one two my big experiment now is to see if i can golf and i bet i can i'll do anything to golf even if i have to have crutches seven eight come on up yogis and oh it out, Ethel Merman style. Good. A little more joint juice. Inhale up. And regular exhale out. I'm already feeling my endogenous morphines flowing happily through my body. Left arm in front, palms in, clappings, pullings, stretches, tippy toes. And close your eyes, balance on your tippies. Don't think nothing. If you start thinking, stop it. If you start thinking, you get all wobbly. Open your eyes, drop your heels to the left. Fourth side bend. Inhale up to the right. Up. Arms forward, sit at the piano, and then arms up as high as you can while sitting at the piano. Now, if you're like Stephanie and could squat all the way down with her heels down, only bring your behind down to the height of your knees. Stephanie is a gifted savant at this pose. Arms down, flip over, forward fold, drop your hair, drain your brain. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, lengthen your spine, relax, relax. Exhale, push the air out, head down, hold the air out. One, go deeper, two, three. It's amazing how flexible this is making us. Bend your knees, look forward, look forward. 
Exhale, grab your ankles, pull yourself down. One, two, three, I felt that. Come on up, you guys. Inhale. And regular exhale. Did we do this? It's been so long. I've been so I've been talking so much. Roll your wrists out. You can't do this. You actually you can't do this too much. You did it all the time, but a couple times isn't bad. Yeah, we did do it. My bad. My bad. Okay, now uh, legs out wide. So I think I've discovered that this pose strengthens the muscles around well everywhere, especially around the knee. So this is good if you got a little knee high, how you doing? So sitting on the horse, let's bounce on the horse a little bit. We got a turbulent horse. Good, and then hold still, slap your legs like you're doing the, the haka, the New Zealand Aboriginal dance. Inhale up, yogis, and push down. Inhale to the heart. Stick your tongue out like a cat. Pull in and press down. Good, now hands shaped like this down here, just north of the, south of the border, north of it, I don't know. And we'll sit on the horse for a minute. Now, I think every move that we've done so far is accessible to all humans. It just has varying degrees of application. So that's why my yoga is probably the best being taught anywhere on the planet. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying everybody can do this. It's not exclusionary. It's not specific. It's not, doesn't turn its nose up in anybody. It's just, hey, come on in, roll out your mat. Let's get going. If you need to get off the horse, you can get right back on it. No one's going to judge you because you're at home. But the people at home might judge you. And press down and inhale, straighten your legs, feet point forward, the arms wing up. And they've done a forward fold with their legs wide, prasarita, padottanasana. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. You're going to get that on my forward folds because we're going to get more flexible. Exhale, all the air out, down, one, hold your breath, two, three, good. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, go down and stay down this time. If you go all the way underneath yourself and look up, you'll see it's a new moon right now. The moon and the sun are aligned, so you can't see the moon. You will in two nights. There'll be a nice little crescent moon. And the beat goes on. Come on up, kids. Up you go. One more. And exhale out. Good, now feet together. We'll do squatty twisty pose because of its extraordinarily dynamic benefits. The more bang for your buck, then we'll be on the floor moving and grooving. So prayer hands for a moment, drop your chin. Be a calm and peaceful soul. Be absurdly happy for no apparent reason, that's my tombstone, Greg was happy for no apparent reason. When he needed reasons, he was mostly miserable. Big inhale. Lift, shift, and turn to the right. Left elbow outside your right knee. Feet flat, bendy bears, left hand on the floor. Stiffy bears, hands in prayer. Look straight down. Now, Stephanie can squat all the way down in this pose, so her job is to not go all the way down and. For her, it turns more into a strengthening thing than it does a flexible thing. So everybody's working on something. If your left hand touches the floor, take your right arm up. That means you probably have maybe lost a little weight. You've gotten slimmer and more flexible and you're just loving to do the twistier version or you have long arms, whatever. And we'll hold it for three, two, one, arms down, come up, yogis, come on up. Big old inhale and a symmetricalizing new word, forward fold, come on down. 
Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. You guys are getting into the rhythm of this new breathing Russian stretching technique. Exhale, come down, push the air out, hold it out. Down, one, two, lower, three, come up. See, the principle is, is anybody can take three seconds of pain. Well, two seconds maybe. Exhale out. Okay, we have twisty squat coming in the other direction, which is to the left in just a moment. Arms up. Perfect rhythm, elegance and grace or something approaching. And down and to the left, right elbow outside your left knee, right hand on the floor. Left arm up if your right hand hits the floor. Hands in prayer if you got little alligator arms. I've never seen an alligator do this. If nothing else, I'll keep you engaged with inane stream of consciousness talk. So the work seems to go by without even noticing it. Lower, lower. Five, four, three. One, poor internet connection. Two, and come up, yogis. Come on up. And we're going to ohm when we get to the top, a long extended ohm. Oh. My goal for 2022 20, is bigger, healthier, pinker, stretchier lungs. And you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to do something for our arms. Arms out, side to side. This is the year of opening up our angel wings and getting our shoulder blades unlocked from their holsters and feeling really good in our neck, back, and shoulders. I just decided that. Now, prayer hands behind your back or simply grab your wrists or your elbows. t-shirts in the way. <clears throat> All right. And stand up on your tippy toes with your hands in prayer behind your back. You might do the tippy toes dance a little bit. There we go. Lock in and get strong and firm and mountain-like. This is Tadasana on your tippy toes with hands in Anjali Mudra. Have you ever noticed the name Anjali Mudra is the root of the yoga sage Pantanjali, Pantanjali, Anjali Mudra, the saint of the heart. Drop your heels, turn to the right, lean left. And up you go. Face left, down and over. Fifth side bend. Man, if all we did was this joint juice and then got online and just talked, that would be great. But we have some more to do. Forward fold, all the way down, nose to your shins, buns up. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, deepen and suffer with me for three, down, two, ah, one. Bend your knees. Happiness comes gushing in. And squeeze all that happiness out. And shared suffering is decreased. Come down. Hold your breath. Three. Straighten. Two. One. Come up, yogis. Keep your hands in prayer. And then lean back and put your head on the floor. Just kidding. Inhale up after that big juicy backbend or somewhat remedial and pedestrian backbend if you're me, but I'm not much, but I'm all I think about. Inhale. Can we just sit on the floor now? No, arms out, fling your right arm under. And I don't care, I'm still gonna work on my balance. So now right knee over your left. This is just such a good balance pose because you can put your right toes on the floor over on the left as a kickstand if you are a wobbly, wobbly person. If you're a medium person, you can lift your foot for a second and then stab around for balance. 
or if you're an amazing person like me, you can lift your right foot and hook it behind your ankle. And when I post these videos on YouTube, I'm gonna Photoshop the ankle behind the other one. It's pretty easy. Go as low as Stephanie in this pose. That would be incredible. Now close your eyes and balance for a long time. And open your eyes and be grateful for your vision. Feet together. I had a friend tell me once, if you can't find anything to be grateful for, think of the things you don't want to lose. Make a list and then write at the top of the page, things I'm grateful for, <laughs> the things I don't want to lose. Great advice. I didn't like it at the time. Inhale up. And exhale out to the side. And side B, arms out, fling left arm under, fold them up like an eagle, and lift left knee over your right. Really strongly slink your right knee underneath your left. And keeping your right foot flat on the floor, go low, chest up, elbows up, wrists away. Squeeze everything into the middle, middle, middle of your middle. And if you need your toes as a kickstand, you're learning balance. If you can lift your foot for a while, you're gaining balance. And if you can balance perfectly for an indefinite period of time, you are balance. We go from gaining equality to becoming it. Isn't that a refreshing thought? Good, now we'll close our eyes and balance for a pretty long time. Or a pretty short time as the case might be. Thank God for Photoshop. And come up and up. Feet together. Inhale for one more forward fold, and I swear we'll be on the floor after this one way or the other. Come on down, yogis. Now inhale, bend your knees. You're soft, you're happy, you're relaxed, you're so happy. Exhale deep and push the air out straight and feel it. One, you'll probably be okay. Two, three, bend your knees. Super soft, very relaxed, a lot of breath, very happy. Exhale, grab your ankles, come on down. Do a forward fold. It's the year of forward folding, but just three, two, one, and have a seat, yogis. Whoo! This is my Flintstone fan that I got for Christmas. All right. Good to see you guys. Let's check the time. We're 38 65ths into it. So more than halfway, according to my remedial math. Close your eyes, sit up nice and tall for a moment. Remember, I'm here to talk you out of your mind. Relax, don't think nothing. Just jump in the river with me. Crash downstream, go over some rapids. That's what life is. We didn't sign up for a rapid free river, obviously. Okay, we'll chant Om and then we'll continue with some groovy movement. Inhale. Okay, I've got a desire to twist and shout. So inhale up. We'll start with an easy twist, literally easy twist. Pause up, turn right, left hand, right knee, and twist around behind you. Tall spine, shoulders relax. If you go deeper, time it with an exhalation when you're empty. It's easier to twist an empty toothpaste tube than a full one. Take it from me and release out. Do you ever cut your toothpaste tubes in half to get more out? That is the, that is the definition of cheap. Way up. Turn left, turn left, turn left, right hand, left knee. Turn left. I remember reading a story once by Wayne Dyer, the beautiful man who passed, but he wrote a lot of beautiful books and to help people. And 
toward the end of his life, he was still cutting toothpaste tube containers in his half. And finally, he wrote a little essay that said, you know, I could buy a toothpaste company. So old habits die hard and release out. Come up, yogis. And regular exhale, don't worry, I'll let you know when it's an ohm, but you could always ohm on your own and extend your legs out. And let's put our right thigh over our left. Let's hook the ankle under if we can. You probably can't, maybe one out of, one out of eight people can do that, would be my estimation. Slide in as far as you can without dislocating something. And then elevation sensation. And then stand up on your left tippy toes as high as you can. And then lift up higher. And then even higher than that. And down, yogis. Okay, my knee took that. That's, that's good news. Now I'm angling slightly. We're going to lie on our backs. I'm going to find a block for underneath my head in case I find that I end up needing it. I'm going to grab my uppermost knee, which might be the right one, may be the left one. Rest your head down. And if your head doesn't come all the way down, use a block, a blanket, a pillow, or an accoutrement of some sort. Squeeze like crazy. You can do this with your head flat and your ankles and knees bent. Thank you for coming to my class. You realize when you can do something, it helps other people who can't. And when you can't, it helps other people who can, because then they get to teach. Good yogis, now lift up your head and reach forward without grabbing nothing. Get a big handful of nothing. I'm gonna move the block out from behind my head and let's do, let's do 10 crunches so that we have ripping strong core this year and six pack abs that are the envy of the neighborhood. Five, four, three, two, stay up on one and see if you can crush your right knee into your right nose. Hold, hold. Good yogis, now from here, roll back up. Whoop. All right, and recenter yourself. I had to, but maybe you didn't. Now on this side, it's lefty over righty. This is good for internal rotation of your thighs, stretches your IT band, keeps you frisky. Slink this ankle under if you can, if you're one of them people, one of those people, you know who you are. Slide in as far as you can. Walk your hands in so you're all crammed in. Ralph crammed in. Exhale. Who remembers the honeymooners? Lift up onto your right toes as high as you can. Chest up, head back like a movie star. Lift your bottom, bottoms up, high as you can. And outhale, come on down kids. On your back, legs stay similarly crossed and reach out, up grab the highest knee that you can. If your head doesn't come back down, I'm not gonna have any Sore neck, so put something underneath. Rest your head, squeeze like crazy. Be your own main squeeze. If you've crossed your knees and your ankles, uh, thread your toes together, please. Show me that. Squeeze, squeeze please. Good, now let's lift up our head and almost touch your knee to your nose. That's how high I want you. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. No hands, knee to nose, with significantly less this out of the way. 10 more pounds this year, you guys. Now, 10, nine, eight. I went to a yoga class and a Pilates class broke out, but everybody can do something. No judging, no criticism. The only criticism is what's coming from inside your own head. And if you're doing that, stop it. Two, one, now squeeze your nose onto your knee, knee onto your nose. If you can't do it, it's okay, just try. Uncross, legs up, head back. And as they say in Germany, das splits, legs out really wide. 
wide as you can for the splits, circle your ankles, get some blood flowing down in the subterranean caverns of your mysterious self. Other way, two, this is where the elite meet to have really happy feet. Good, little more core lift up and 10, nine. This isn't like going to 24 hour fitness for a core class, you guys, I mean, come on. We're just doing just the right amount so that our bodies remain healthy and frisky and transparent to our experience. Two, one, bend your knees, grab your big toes, elbows inside your knees and happy babies. A room full of happy babies. Knees on the floor, butt down, chin relaxed. But now I'm calling this mo, I'm calling this pose mild. Now, if you kind of start to straighten your legs, I'm calling it medium or moderate. And if you lift up your head, straighten your legs, and then rest your head back down and your butt's on the floor, I would call that spicy. So I'm kind of medium spicy in this one. Remember, you can just do what you can, but you should feel something. You shouldn't feel nothing. And you shouldn't be need to be whisked off to the emergency room. Squeeze your legs in together, straight or not. Drop your butt and bring your legs down all the way over your body, folding into a jackknife, also known as Urdhva Paschimottanasana. It's a insanely deep forward fold. So be sane, be sober, bend your knees, roll up, kids. Back up. Oop. All right, good progress. Maybe I'll mellow it out a little bit now, maybe. Crossed legs, forward fold. I do market this class as a bit of a midweek bliss yin kind of thing. So let's get some yin in, come on down. Bendy bears, put one hand on top of the other one. If you're hella bendy, you can put one or two feet on top for half or full lotus. Push your armpits down, bend your elbows down, let your butt drop, spread your shoulder blades, relax your hair, stop thinking. And rise up, yogis. And this is honestly probably about the only thing where I do a folded knee thing, and that's the right shin folding under. I don't do it on the other side. Place your hands, and a lot of you are getting your right elbow all the way down. I'm really proud of you. I'm loving the progress you guys are making. I swear I've been in, I've been in so many yoga classes over the centuries that I've seen teachers. It's like, it's way more about what they're doing. So I just love it when the students find some new space or some new courage or some new capacity. And come up. And now we want lots of ecstasy to fit in our body this year. So Ustrasana, lift up, way up. Super back bendies, do it way up. Head on the floor, legs straight up and down. Stiffies, don't die in the pose. And come on down, yogis. All right, and then you bendy bears lay flat on your back with your left leg extended. You stiffy bears eat some popcorn, lay back. No matter what kind of work around we do, I'll, I'll make sure you go through every range of motion in my class in 60 minutes. 
It doesn't take two hours. You don't have to do everything 17 times in a row. You don't need to get repetitive stress in injuries. Just trust me. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but trust me. Inhale, yogis. Come on out. Righty over lefty. Take your thumbs underneath your big toe metatarsal and dig in with thumbnail with your eyes closed. See if you can uh, garner the gasp feeling, The because you dig so deep. It's like, yeah, get some of that. Ah, Good, now push in and hold steady pressure. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. Be the middle of strong sensation. Be the calm center of a merry-go-round that never moves. Push harder. No thinking. God, what a pr precious place. Good, now right knee comes up. It's the year of twisting dangerously. Left arm up, inhale. Turn right, turn right, keep the arm up. Turn right, turn right, lean back, turn right. Come forward, elbow outside your knee. Now, this is a Gregism. I take, I'm really tight here. So I push the knee more under. Uh, uh. And that makes me able to reach down and grab my left foot. Don't worry if you can't. Don't worry if you can. Drop your butt. You don't need your right hand behind you. Hook it all the way around to the inseam of your left thigh. That used to be a piece of cake, but I don't eat cake anymore. I would love to eat some cake right now. Just a big piece of chocolate cake, followed by another big piece of chocolate cake. Good, you guys, bring your face back around. Undo the twist. You guys are getting more flexible. I'm really, really, really proud of you. When all the other people join on YouTube and see us original Zoomers, they're going to know what's what. Now, you get whatever mini blocks you need. That was good grammar. Such that you can bring your head down to the floor and grab your right wrist with your left hand. If you need a massive edifice, build an edifice to yourself. Put yourself on a pedestal. Relax. Try not to think we'll do some push ups in a minute, but not yet. Not yet. And two more breaths, I'm sorry, zero more breaths and come up, where did that come from? All right, I was thinking ahead. Do you ever say what you were thinking in the future by accident? Now in honor of Helga, we'll extend our right leg out because I'm inspired to do forward folds again, even though I don't like them. Come over your right extended leg, make friends with the, turn the pain into sensation and the sensation into acceptance and the acceptance into gratitude that you can feel. Good, now inhale, bend your right knee, lift it up, soften everything, everything slacky and soft. Exhale, straighten, come down, suffer for just one, two, three. Inhale, come up, relax a sec, you get a respite. That's life, isn't it? Hysterical moments of effort followed by long periods of sloth and procrastination. Yeah, baby. Bend your knee, bend your knee, bend it soft. Exhale, straighten, do the deal. Push your head down to the Two, three. Come on up, yogis. Good, now bring that right leg in. Feet together and always a wagulation. 
Now I'm gonna to have to Photoshop this whole next thing, fold your left knee under. I can't, you can. I'm just gonna put it over there and get it out of the way for a sec. It's called a workaround. You're, we're all gonna learn it. One of these days we're gonna be a hundred and we're gonna be 99 years old like Betty White and we're gonna be doing yoga in a chair and we're just gonna do what we can. Elbow down on the floor. Chest up if you can. If your elbow hits the floor, look up and lay your back on the floor. That's a wicked move. Good, Jogies. Come on up. And hands behind, shins folded under. It goes without saying. And more Shiva Shakti fits in your nervous system. Plunge up with impunity. Up you go. I want to see sparkles shooting out of various parts of you. Sparkles, radiance, and come on down. What else am I gonna do when I'm not doing it? Make up a bunch of words. Good. Now from here, from here came putting the foot over the top. My memory's getting better. Memory serves. Now, this pulls in, you stab your guts in. Now, right arm, the key, Way up, way, way higher. Lean back, way up, way up and way down at the same time. Inhale. Relax, exhale, get empty, turn. Elbow around your knee or elbow outside. Try this trick, you guys. It's a yoga hack. Left hand, shove it underneath there. This may give you the biggest twist of your life. Right hand now is available. And tonight, Greg is going to reach down and even grab his right knee. And this will make up for the other stuff I just didn't do a little while ago. Turn left. Complete your exhales all the way. Twists are intense poses. Try to find the soft, creamy center in the midst of being squeezed and twisted. Left hand all the way behind you if it fits. Inhale and outhale, come out. Come out of twist slow. Avoid the thwai yang 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 thing. That's not good unless you're about, unless you're under 12 years old. Left leg goes out. Now I like my blocks here, but I am gonna, ultimately my head's gonna come all the way down, but not at the start. Slow and steady wins the game. No Russian breathing just yet. Now feel something. Don't not feel anything, okay? It's okay to feel something. Intentional stress. Good, now bend your left knee, soften, soften, bend. Happy, stretchy, deeper. Exhale, come on down. Even push your head to your knee, but just for one, two, three. Come up, bend your knee, bend your knee. It only lasts for a second. Two, exhale, straighten. Come on down, get down. One, two, three. And arise up, beautiful yogis. All right. Extend your legs out, Wig wiggulate them. And as a counter pose, feet in, bottoms up. Biggest back bend of the night. We're in the home stretch. Sink down. Yep. Uh, we got five more minutes. So chant Om with me. We'll do our push-ups and our plank, and then we'll have a massive relaxation session. So first the Om, big inhale, longest you got. Om.
Now indulge me for a moment, hands at your heart, drop your chin, pray for the thing most wanted or needed right now, but try that evocative form of prayer where you pray non-verbally, feel what you want. Send God the feeling of the thing most wanted. It's a radically wonderful and powerful way to pray. Want more love, feel it. Want more money, feel it. Want more health, feel it. Want more community and connection and interaction with humans, feel it. Pre-feel it. The universe shapes to the shape of our mind. This is spirituality 101A. Everybody knows it. Nobody does it. Good, you guys. Now, uh, the rubber's going to hit the road. We're going to do our push-ups, which can be done on your knees. You can sit and watch. You could leave class in a huff if you don't like push-ups. I'd be bitterly disappointed, but do what you can. And on your elbows. Now you bendy people bend your knees because you can and tickle the back of your head with your toes just for fun. Show me how it's done. Just because I can't do it doesn't mean I don't enjoy other people doing it. Okay. One minute of plank or something approaching that, we'll be done, we'll do Shavasana, we'll celebrate, we'll laugh and giggle, the forest will echo with laughter. Five, four, two, one, three, go. You're gonna feel like $100 when you're done with this. I like the new somewhat shorter yoga classes. I think it's a, it's economy, it's lean, mean. It leaves time for studying the harp or the learning a new language, taking the dog for a walk. 30 seconds. Guy jumps out of an airplane, doesn't have a parachute, calls his mentor, says, jumped out of a plane without a parachute, what do I do? Mentor says, don't worry, it'll all be over in a minute. Five, four, one. Uh, yoga rotisserie onto your back, dear friends. I hope you do Shavasana. I understand if you don't. No, I don't, on your back. Roly poly guacamole onto your back. This is where the elite meet to get the hell off their feet and veg for five happy seconds. Proud of you guys. Comes the best year of our life. I'm reading a book by a Christian saint from the fourth century. His name is Gregory of Nicaea, no relation, I don't think. But one of his treatises is called Glory to Glory. I really like it. I think that's why I bought the book. I like yoga sages. I like Christian saints. I like Sufi adepts. I like Aboriginal geniuses. I like scientific atheists. I like all brands of thinking and to synthesize them into my own bizarre smorgasbord. You make yours. Relax.
heavy bones drop down through the floor. Practice dying once a day. St. Paul said that I die daily. It's an odd, it's an odd phrase. Maybe he was a yoga teacher. I'm sure he was. Okay, now if you want, when you're all relaxed and there's a nice channel open between soul and spirit, Atman and Brahman, you could say something like, universe, come on in, I invite you in. I know I don't have to, I know it's a choice, but I choose to invite and cooperate and co-mingle and follow. And if you've done that, Wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate a huge amount of feel good, feel God through yourself. One time a friend said to me when I was deep in an existential crisis, you don't have to believe in God, but just believe in good. And that really opened a door for me. It really did. And my pea-sized brain. Good. Now draw your knees in and roll over to your right side. It's the year of loving all over yourself. Being an advocate in your favor as opposed to the prosecuting attorney. And then we'll sit up with our eyes closed, nice and slow. Good, and the hands come into the heart and No matter what your worldview is, with the hands at the heart and the head bowed, just whatever you feel holy, sacred, and reverent toward, aim there. If we all aim in that same direction, I've got a feeling all the lines intersect. And the meaning of that principle is namaste. Namaste, namaste. Om Shanti, peace happy, joyous, and free. Hey, you guys, arms up. Good job. You done good. And